Hello, my lovely children. And today, we are going to be reading The Count Counts a Party by Judy Fredberg and Tony Geese, I think. I don't know how to say that. Illustrated by Tom Cook. One day, the Count sat in his castle amidst all the things he liked to count, and he was very sad. Woe is me, he said. I cannot think of anything new to count. I have counted everything. I have counted dogs and cats, frogs and bats, plants and rocks, pants and socks, fleas and mice, peas and rice, Chairs and clouds, hairs and crowds. I've counted big, I've counted small. There's nothing left to count at all, he sobbed. One sob, said the Count, and he sighed. <sighs> one sigh, said the Count, and one teardrop. Alas, what is there left for me to count? Some people over there walking by. He thought of everything he could possibly count, beginning with the letter A and going through the alphabet. Aardvarks I have counted. Ants I have counted, he said. Apples I have counted. He went on to reach the letter P. Parades I have counted. Parasols I have counted. Parrots I have counted. Parties I have not counted. That's it! Parties! Says shouted the Count, startling his pet bats. I have never counted parties. Eureka, I will give a party for all my friends on Sesame Street. And I will count the party. Yay! Said the bats, fluttering about his head in happy circles. Party, party, party! We're gonna have a party! And the Count began to prepare for his party. First, he cleaned the castle from basement to belfry. Belfry, He borrowed a broom from the witch next door and swept all the dust into a big pile and then swept the big pile under a big rug. One sweep, two sweeps, three sweeps, four sweeps, said the Count. Ah, ah, ah. Then he took down all the dirty old cobwebs and hung up clean new cobwebs. He even told his bats to take a bat bath in their bathtub. Luba, he said to his number one bat, don't forget to wash behind your wings. You too, darlings. Don't worry, said the bats. We'll get them squeaky clean. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Now, said the counts, I will have 19 friends from Sesame Street at my party. That makes 20 friends, counting me. And I love to count me. So, I will need 20 plates. Ah, ah, ah. And 20 party balloons. Ah, ah, ah. And a party hat for everyone. 20 party hats. Ah, 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 ah. And what else? said the asked the count. I know something to eat. First he baked a chocolate layer cake, and then he counted the twenty lovely layers. Nobody should eat just cake, said the count, so we'll have some fruit. Twenty apples, twenty, and twenty peaches, twenty. And for the big eaters, twenty watermelons. They set the table with 20 plates, and it was time for the party to begin. The Count let down the drawbridge on the front path to his castle. He laid out 20 welcome mats, then he waited for his friends. 
He waited and waited and waited and waited. Nobody came. Woe is me, said the Count. I have waited twenty minutes and nobody has come to my party. What have I done wrong? Guys, what do you think he did wrong? What do you think the Count did wrong? Why aren't anybody coming to his party? Let's see. Woe is us too, said his bats. No party, no party, no party. Wait, said the Count. I know why nobody has come. I forgot to invite them. And like a flash of his own lightning, he sat down and wrote 20 invitations, one for himself too, saying, stop everything and come right away. One, two, three, to my castle for party. Come as you are. Do not even change your clothes. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Signed your friendly local count. He gave the invitations to his bats, who flew off to deliver the invitations to Sesame Street. When Ernie and Bert got their invitations, Ernie was in the bathtub and Bert was waiting to take his bath. They started right out to the Count's castle. Cookie Monster was eating a box of delicious cookies when he got his invitation. He ate the invitation too and then dashed off to the party. Big Newtons. Oscar got his invitation and ran towards the castle as fast as he could. He planned to tell the Count, I don't want to come to your run party. When the amazing Mumford got his invitation, he was pulling rabbits out of his hat. So when he set off for the party, he was followed by a trail of rabbits. Big Bird was playing hopscotch, so he hopped all the way to the party. Super Grover was flying around looking for someone in his dress when Luba delivered the invitation. He sped to the castle with his cape streaming behind him and landed in the moat. Twenty minutes after he sent the invitation, after he sent the invitations, the count looked out the castle door and saw the whole gang coming up the path. Ah, said the count, my friends are coming. I knew I could count on them. Yay, said the bats as they flew back into the castle. It's party time. Wait. Not so fast, my pets, said the Count. I must count everyone. So while everyone waited patiently, the Count counted his guests. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Only nineteen, but there should be twenty. Who is missing? Of course, I forgot to count myself. How silly of me. I, the Count, make twenty. Twenty playful party people. Ah, ah, ah. And twenty party bats. And twenty batty bats. Shriek the bats. Strike up the bands. As the band played the Transylvania Polka twenty times, Everyone danced and ate and danced some more and ate some more. The party lasted for 20 hours and the Count was very, very happy. One, one wonderful party, exclaimed the Count ecstatically. Ah, 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 ah. And that is it for our book today, guys.
I hope you enjoyed the Count Counts a Party, and I'll see you guys next time.